for millennia. Demons have failed in their attempts to infiltrate the mortal world. The Earth is still ruled by weak-willed, one-brained sacks of organ, governed by nothing but their own desire to self-actualize a meaning in life when there isn't one. Their rule is over, for I have devised the most brilliant, complex plan across all 36 planes of reality. With said plan, I will seize control of the entire overworld. All made possible through the simple manipulation of the dumbest, most gullible human being to ever exist. A human named... Jerry Blunder. Here yet? Yeah, like 30 minutes ago. Wait, you're Blunder Boy, right? This is so gonna get me fired. It's what I want to do to you. But unfortunately, the company has asked me not to fire anyone due to my recent Splurge. So I can't fire you, but you don't know how to work fast food. You've been here a week and you've already broken the record for the most customer complaints. 702. The last two were from your own parents, Jerry. So please, I'm asking you to quit. Mr. Bauman, I don't quit at anything. I've never even closed a single tab on my computer. There are so many, I just Crashes on startup. Jerry, you are gonna quit or so help me God, I will shave your head and glue it to your face as a beard. Mr. That Bowman. way maybe you'll be man enough to quit. I'm sorry, son. It's just, I got into this dog business so young and the War with Pals pizza is just really stressing me out. Not equipped to deal with it. We're losing customers to them every day. People just don't eat hot dogs anymore. It's a pizza world out there for Christ's sakes. This war, sir, it's not worth it. People can eat hot dogs and pizza at the same time, even. God damn it, Jerry! You pizza sympathizer! I know people on the other side. They're not that bad. And that's why you're going to quit. Because you like pizza. I need this job. Nowhere will hire me. Well, I'm definitely not putting you up front again. But there is one position now. What? Are we even supposed to be here? I don't know. When do we get a break? I've got a Mondo P. No breaks, Goose. I got a P rig built into my suit. I can let you borrow it every 30 minutes. Might be a little warm, though. I'm good. I, I think I'll just hold it. <laughs> Listen, Goose. If you're going to work this job, you gotta let go of your worldly insecurities. If you're gonna be embarrassed about something as simple as a pee rig, this job might be too much for you. Worry about yourself, live your own life. All I'm saying is, you just gotta let go, and the rest of the world will catch up with you. Hey, Peter, it's Jerry, Jerry Blender. I was just calling to remind you that I'm coming over to your house in, in like a couple minutes, you know? Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm excited, man. Cause I got the pee. That's not why. Um, I, I haven't seen you in a long time. It'll be really great to like catch up and hang out, you know, all kind of stuff. But see you in a little bit, man. Bye.
Jeffrey. Hey, Jerry. Hey. I thought uh, Pal's Pizza employees were supposed to take the train. I thought Hack Check employees were supposed to ride the train. Oh, I. Um, sorry, I. I'm just kidding. Jerry, we can both ride the bus. <laughs> I don't. I don't really care about the hacky pal war. Uh, I'm not one for politics either. I like your hot dog soup. Thanks. I got demoted. I I spin signs now. I mean, I've been spinning pizzas for the past month. So, I mean, pizza signs, not actual pizzas. Um, do you like it? Yeah, yeah. You what? Yeah, yeah, I like it, yeah. You know, you've come a long way since your blunder boy days. You used to blunder yourself constantly in high school. I look at you, spinning signs, living the dream, with dry pants. Yeah, I'm blunder free since graduation. I I'm, no I'm normal now. I mean, it happens to the best of us, right? I mean, not me. Or anyone else but you. Uh, but still, I'm, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to deal with that too, Aubrey. We got us now, though. Hot dog boy and pizza girl. Jerry? Please tell me that's not P. It's P. I'm so sorry. I. It's so nice, and I just. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk home. I'm sorry, Jerry. Look what we found! It's Blunder Boy from Triple Die! Hey, you're Shaq Colson tonight? <laughs> Look at that, he peed his hot dog suit, man. <laughs> Let's mug him! <laughs> get his wallet, dude! Get his wallet! Peter? I'm ready to get out of this dog. Jerry. I see you're still working at Hacky Shack. I didn't realize you were coming today. Yeah, we talked about it last week. When I saw you at the shop lots. <laughs> Remember? You didn't notice me and I had to chase you down the aisles. Man, you turned those corners quick. I did leave you a few voicemails though to let you know I was coming over. Uh, yeah, uh, my phone actually hasn't been working lately. I think I probably need to change providers. Well, I'm here now. So, <laughs> what are we, uh, what are we gonna be doing? I don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. But I would like a change of clothes. Jerry, you gotta stop doing this. You gotta stop doing this. I'm sorry, Peter, just... Next time I Listen, can just... I don't know what's been going on lately, but you're weird now. And you're not doing anything with your life. I have my job. <laughs> you're a cashier at Hacky Shack. I'm actually a sign spinner now. Jerry, you, you are a leech of a friend. <sighs> and you need to leave. I'm sorry. Why is this hot dog suit all full?
looks like water sipped. It's yellow and it's hotter. That's me. The bodies of the children were found still holding onto each other. On a more positive note, local loser Blunder Boy from Chiplin High School has made his blunderous return as seen on this amateur cell phone footage. The hilarious video has quickly gained over 1 million hits online. Hello, Jerry. I'm your new best friend. Wait, what? I'm your demon. You summoned me all the way from the 12th plane of reality. So you're my new best friend? And you're a demon? Like Satan? Well, Sir Satan is my overlord. I serve him. He's a good man, quite the philanthropist. I'm just a normal demon, and your new best friend. Come, sit. Thought you'd look more demonic. Well, Every demon pretty much looks exactly like I do. Why should I believe anything you say? Here, have some coffee. My name is Ballas. You summoned me to be your best friend. And so, I am hereby linked to you for all of eternity. Where you go, I go. If our tether extends more than five kilometers, I will die slowly and painfully as I am crushed into a single atom that you may keep as a souvenir if you so desire. As long as I am alive, I will care for you whenever you need me, and I will be there for you, always. Please, sign you. Jerry, you need this. You need a friend. Let me help you. Friendship. Friendship. 
montage friendship. A montage of friendship. My demon best friend and I together. Montage. Friendship montage. Friendship. A montage of friendship. You seem different, Goose. Take my advice. Uh, if you're asking if I got a P-Rig, no, I didn't. Yeah, I saw you could have used one yesterday, that thing on the news, the recent blunder. Well, I've been doing better since then. I have acquired the coats. Ice cream is for civilians, Goose. If you want to keep this job, you got to take it more seriously. What the hell? What the hell? You have spoiled my best friend's snack. For that, he may now eat you as his snack. Jerry, start with the fingers. Oh, please. Holy hell, Ballas! Hell is not holy. It is a dark abyss where all happiness goes to die. Including yours. Go on, Jerry. I can tell you're ravenous. Do you want me to summon my blade? No, I don't! Put him down! What? I think our beer is full. He has destroyed your meal. You have every right to quench your hunger with his bones. Well, that's right. I don't want to exercise. Please, put him down. <coughs> Jerry, what's wrong with your friend, dude? He's got dumb uh, ES disease. Dumb ES disease? I think I had a cousin with that. Yeah, so then you know how dangerous it can be. I should probably get him home. You can cover for me, right? Yeah, sure. Jerry, did I do something wrong? Yeah, you did. You tried to get me to eat my co-worker. What happened? I'm sorry, it's just... I've never been in your realm before. Where I'm from, the inferno burns in everyone's hearts. Hatred is the way of life. If you even feel an ounce of love, you will be instantly devoured. Instantly. My wife made the fatal mistake of loving me. Now, she is nothing but a memory that I have long forgotten. Well, if you can't love anyone, then what's the deal with this whole best friend thing? Oh, well, that's the one exception, of course. A demon may find a human he wishes to befriend and become tethered to him, as I've done to you. But I'm the one that summoned you. Oh, well, that's the other one exception, of course. Okay, well, if we're gonna do this whole tether thing, then we have to establish some ground rules. Okay. Rule number one, can't hurt other people. Jerry, I would never think of doing such a thing. Rule number two, you're human now. You have to blend in. Humans don't have horns. Well, I, I don't know about that. Rule number three, it's the most important one. We're not just best friends, we're best friends forever. I mean, I know we're tethered and all, but still, we have to look out for one another. Agreed? Agreed. You know, speaking of the tether, there's actually a way to remove it for, you know, convenience. <laughs> Jesus, there are so many rules of this thing. Only you have the power to remove the tether, and by doing so, you would grant me the rest of my abilities. You have abilities? Oh, yes, sorry, um, I forgot to tell you. Currently, I have super strength, I can summon mundane objects, and I can possess willing subjects. That's so cool. But if you were to release me, all of my power would be at your disposal. Yeah, I don't know about that. What? I think we should stick with the whole tether thing for now. In time. <laughs> okay, Ballas. Do you see that girl over there? That's Aubrey. Is this a test? Do you want me to blend in? 
You said you can possess people, right? Willing subjects, yes. I'd like to ask her out on a date. I wish to pursue her romantically. Jerry, you dog. I'd ask her myself. I just don't have the stones. What do you need stones for? To throw at her? Is this some kind of human courting ritual? No. I don't have the, the balls. Oh, you're female? No. Metaphorically, I don't have the balls. Oh, you are a coward. Yes. I'm a coward. Look, last time I talked to her, I peed my pants. What I'm saying is, can, can you just help me or not? What are friends for? Hello, Aubrey. Just got off of work. How you doing? Hey, Jerry. I'm good. Just got off work myself. Sorry I peed my pants our last encounter. It's okay. I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> well, I'm a cute guy. Speaking of which, you're a cute girl. We should begin courtship. Now. You know what? Sure. Sounds nice. How's tomorrow at five? Text you the deets, baby. Wow, you're forward. I like that. Well, I gotta go. Work thing. I thought you said you just got off. I only get off on you, baby. Nah, I got a second job now. Business related. I'm rich, by the way. How was that? this myself, Cal. I need you to relax for your date. I know you're nervous. I'm not nervous. We've been tethered together for five months now. I can tell when you're nervous. You are. I'm not nervous, Cal. Aubrey? Cal. Cal. Aubrey? Okay, fine. I'm nervous. I knew it. I called it from the beginning. You and Jerry are going to have a nice time. I hope so. He was acting kind of cool yesterday. He was definitely behaving weird. He's usually so nervous, like you. And he did pee himself last time. Do you want me to pack an extra He's towel for He's not gonna pee you? himself again. Okay, but I still don't understand what you see in him. Look, Jerry is an absolute loser. Like, people utterly hate his guts. But, my sophomore trip to DC, I stepped in someone's dog crap. And without hesitation, he offered me his shoe. I was called dog crap girl for the rest of the year. But never by Jerry. You two are destined for each other. How's this? How's this? Depends. Are you going to put a tie to it? it it's a picnic day. It's supposed to be casual. I would wear a tie. That's because you always wear a tie. Because I look good with one. And so would you. Ballas, I don't want to wear a tie. I didn't pee on my tie when I got dressed up today. How's this? I didn't pee on my tie. Perfect. How about that? Jelly. You didn't pee on my tie when you get dressed up, you learn. It's hard to keep your tie from that street. No pants, no stress, you know, just. Oh me, oh my. I didn't pee on my tie. British accent. Oh, drag accent. Don't do any voices. Jerry, 
We really must be going. On my time. <coughs> so yeah, that's that's how I learned how to eliminate all awkward silences from my conversations. Interesting. This is uh this is really Are you a demon? Oh. I didn't expect to run into a colleague today. What division are you from? 22nd. 12th. I only recently acquired myself a human best friend. That's great, how are you guys doing? Well, he's on a date today. Really? So is mine. Wait, your human doesn't happen to be named Aubrey, does she? Your human is Jerry? That's awesome. I know, he's a total idiot. What? That's not right. My mean. scheme is going quite well so far. I think I'm going to be the one to rule this plane. You know, I told him that Satan is my overlord. Can you believe that? Humans still believe in Satan? I see you haven't come around yet. I'll give you one more day with your human. You'll get there. What do you mean? You know, I used to be just like you. Hating one brains wanting to rule them. But my human, she's special. She has this spark. She's touched my soul and cleansed it with the spark that she has. It's like I just look at her and see this spark. And I know that you're human. You sound like a one brain. Did you turn off your other brain? No, listen, humans aren't... Son. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having fun. So how are you? I mean, I'm, I'm the second sign spinner. Hacky shack now. Um, I can't afford a second sign or my salary. I'm getting paid 250 I think that's illegal. But I do have a new friend now, so. Oh. Me too. Best friend, even. Wait, your your friend isn't a demon, are they? <laughs> what? No. no. Yeah, no. Mine. Mine's not either. Do you want to meet him? I was going to say the same thing. I mean, his nickname is Blunderboy. I didn't make that up. That was already his nickname. So you're really not open to change? Well, I'm not, not, not open to change. That was a triple negative. Yes. Well, if your intention is just to kill your human and take over the world, I'm going to have to tell Jerry. Calgath, was it? Just Cal is fine. Calgath. Humans are a blight. Oh, hi, Jerry. And Aubrey? No. When I asked you out, I was actually possessed by Ballas. Really? I was too scared to do it on my own. I was possessed by Cal. I was gonna ask you out. That's weird. I'm still wearing my shoe. <laughs> yeah, the other one still has dog crap on it. Good shoe. Nice arch support. Do you want it back? I have flat feet. Okay. Uh, listen, Jerry. I just wanted to say thank you. For what? I was called Dog Crap Girl for most of high school. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty positive they forgot my name entirely, but, um, you always called me Aubrey. Well, I was called Wonder Boy all throughout high school, so... Trust me. I understand. Yeah, but still. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm 
sorry, Ballas, but I have to tell Jerry, we just have no heart. And neither do you, we're demons. We don't need blood, we survive off of hate. You don't need to survive off of hate anymore, Ballas? Okay. Then what? Love. Oh dear mercy, okay. You know what? You're right. Really? You mean it? I am completely serious. Teach me the ways of love, but don't tell Aubrey. I'm... I'm too ashamed. Okay. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I can help you through it. Do you want to meet somewhere later tonight? Talk about it? Ballas. See that apartment over there? It's the apartment of my ex-best friend, Peter. I thought he had my back, but... Let's ruin his day. Possess me. As you wish. Hey, Jerry. What are you uh, doing here? I came to berate you. What? Look. I don't have time for your weak apologies, you one-brained human. Jerry, what are you talking about? Peter, I will destroy you. Jerry? You did wonderful today, Jerry. You did really good too, Ballas. This whole friendship thing has been going exceedingly well. You have surpassed my expectations. You're a really good friend. I hope that our friendship will continue to prosper. Of course, we're still limited by the tether. Oh well. that you decided to do this. I really think I can help you. Now let's just start by saying the words, I love you, out loud. You are a complete idiot. Honestly, we're here in the middle of nowhere, at the edge of our tethers, and I was obviously lying before. I mean, I, I'm going to kill you now. What? I did not glean that from our conversation at all. Because you're an idiot. Phallus. Just like Jerry. And if you two idiots are going to converse, well, that would be bad for me. I do intend to take over this realm, like any demon should. I know you love Jerry. I could see it in your eyes today. My eyes are endless pits of misery. It doesn't have to be like this. Yes, it does. <laughs> The Dark Blade of Chaos. That particular blade can only be summoned by those who possess truly evil qualities. Well, I'm summoning the Blade of True Friendship. The Blade of True Friendship. I've never seen one summoned before. Do you know what this means? It means that my friendship with Aubrey is true. I know that if you wanted to, you could summon a blade just like this for Jerry. 
Jerry means nothing to me. And he never will. If you truly feel that way, then just kill me now. permission to do this. You can't do this. You're already dead, Kalgath. I'm sorry, Ballas. I love you all for me. Are you sure you want to do this? It's your choice, Jerry. Yes. I'm sure. I want you to break the tether between us. I trust you, Ballas. Good. Then I will summon the physical manifestation of our tether. Spork? Ballas. <laughs> That's just a spork. Yes, an item made of two individual items. Two items never meant to be combined. It is a worthless tool. Well, I mean, save, saves a lot of money. You don't have to have both, you just have a spork. It is useless, like our tether which can only be destroyed by breaking this spork into its two original pieces. The spoon and the fork. Two items never to interact again. Wait, so are we saying we're never gonna interact again? I mean, because we're the spoon and the fork. No. The fork and spoon are two opposite sides of the spork. The spork is in the middle. So the spork, it's, it's separating us. So, so we have to destroy the spork so that we can be together. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but that, that literally makes no sense at all. You'd have to draw me a diagram or something. So you have to take the Alphine's equation and plug in S, which, as we remember, stands for spork. Plus the cosine. Yes, plus the cosine. Once you do that, you get spoon and fork. But remember, you have to carry over the SP and the ORK. Once you do that, you get spork. Spork. Right. All of this equals broken tether. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah, you know, I'm a visual learner, so that helped a lot. Okay, great. Now, are you ready to break the tether? Yeah, let's do it. It's done. Awesome. You wanna go get tacos? Our friendship is over. I am free. What are you talking about? As the most gullible human being on the planet, 
You have fallen for my ingenious plan. I now have full control over my powers. I, I don't understand. Don't make me draw another diagram. I made everything up. I didn't worship Satan. But this friend contract I made you sign, I wrote it up the night before. Is this a joke? <laughs> I used you. Honestly, you should have known. But you were so desperate to leech onto anyone willing to be your friend. It's pathetic. Ralph, we're friends. Come on, Jerry. I was never your friend. What about the photo montage? We made that in five minutes. Blunder yourself again, blunder boy. As of today, the new ointment has been outlawed following concerns that it is too dangerous for the general public. <gasps> My name is Ballas. I am a demon from the twelfth plane of reality. I came here tethered to a human, like any of you. And through very simple manipulation, I convinced that human to release me. And in doing so, he granted me all of my abilities. So basically, I'm super powerful and unkillable. And therefore, I am your new overlord. In 24 hours, I will be teleporting to each of you individually. And I will expect an offering of some kind. I will accept a limb, a child. One of those little heart-shaped cookies with the pink frosting. Or anything really that you think I might like. But if your offering is not to my liking, I will make your worst fear a reality. And then, when you can take it no longer, I will make your second worst fear a reality also. And then, and only then, will I kill you. You have 24 hours. Oh. And by the way, the human that released me, his name is Jerry Blunder. You can blame him for this. 24 hours.
Hal's gone. He left me a note. Did Ballas ever say anything about us? No. No, he didn't. Listen, Jerry, I think Ballas did something to him. And you're... Hey Jerry, uh, can I come in? That wasn't you at my apartment the other day, was it? Ballas, he can possess people. It's one of his abilities. I thought he had my back, but he's a demon. He's like naturally evil. I don't know why I ever thought he would be my friend. Jerry, I used to think that you were a total loser. I mean, in high school it got to the point where if I looked over at you and didn't see a pee stain, you would probably gone to the nurse and gotten spare pants. I made fun of you constantly. Like, all the time. But in her junior year, when I fell on Mark Dalton's bicep and got a black eye, you hit yourself in the face and gave yourself a black eye as well, just to make me feel better. You did that for me, even though I was a complete butthead to you. You weren't a butthead. I basically had a crack on my face. I was a human butt. That's not true. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, right there. I could call you Blunder Boy all day long, but you would still call me Peter. And you would still call Ballas Ballas. So, you really don't know who I am? I work off the grid with my Mima, working on the farm. Well, I guess I should probably fill you in on- We provide milk to people in need. Fill you in on what's been going on then. The only problem though is that for my Mima, the uh, kind of tires are out, but you know, gotta get the milk somewhere. Plus, you know, she's got some very supple. Stop! <laughs> Please. Look, I'm going to kill everyone if they offer me nothing. I'm a demon. I have powers. Well, that's pretty cool. You realize your life is literally in danger. I will kill you if you offer me nothing. Well, I guess I can give you a stay supply of milk. Uh, are you bass? What are you doing? We need to talk. No, we don't. Gotcha. You're already talking. Damn it. How did you even contact me? Through the power of. Friendship. Impossible. You have no such power. You have no friends. That's where you're wrong, buddy. That's right. You're my buddy. My friend. Stop this. You're driving me insane. Why don't you just let go? Because, Ballas, I never let go, and I never give up. Oh, my friends. Then you leave me no choice. I'm going to put an end to you. Permanently. No, you're not. Because yes, you're my- Yes, I am. No, what I was saying was because you're I'm my- I'm going to kill you. You cannot convince me otherwise. Convince him otherwise. I have nothing left. I give up.
except I never give up. And I'm summoning the blade of true friendship. But only those with true friendship can wield the blade of true friendship. We have a connection, Ballas. We have nothing! It doesn't matter. These are the close-up shots. You really think you can win this? I may not win the battle, but I will win your friendship. I can't do it. I can. You're my friend, Ballas. You are. No matter what you say, I know you weren't faking this whole time. Please. You need this. You need a friend. Let me help you. But I'm a demon. I know. I know I've been uh, totally evil. I've lied to you. I mean, a very healthy portion of our conversations were filled with lies. And yes, I did manipulate you. But I know that you said you don't have any balls. But I've seen them. You are a good person, Jerry. And. Uh, Sorry for taking advantage of that. It's, o it's okay, Ballas. It's okay. I knew you'd come around. I trust you. Bud. Bud. <laughs> well, in case you don't, I will restore the tether between us. We'll be bonded again. Real friends this time. 
But I killed Cal. I mean, I straight up murdered him. That's kind of horrible. I guess I should probably bring him back to life before we restore the tether and everything. You can do that? I have unlimited power. Well, there might be something else you should do too. For those of you still with us, all hope is lost. Today's forecast, death and destruction. For anyone who does not have a sacrifice, Mayor Thompson has set up public execution chambers. <laughs> oh God, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Just scoot that for me. Hello everyone, it's Alice again, your overlord. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking away that whole overlord thing. That was a mistake. Yes, I am a demon. Yes, I'm naturally evil, but I've been shown that there is another way to live. It's more to someone than what they appear to be. I don't desire your sacrifices anymore. Keep them. All of you may return to your daily lives, weird as they may be. Apologies are important. So I'm sorry. I hope that one day some of you can forgive me. I have changed a couple of things with my unlimited power. Nothing terrible. Don't worry. I will soon no longer have that power. My tether will once more be linked to a human. Scary blunder. Yes, he has an inconsistent bladder and broke the original tether, causing everyone to panic worldwide. But he's also the only one who didn't give up on me. And he is my best friend. It's like water sipped, it's yellow 